All right, IED, we're going to be working on the slider part of the uh, pin, the ink cartridge for the carabiner pin uh, 3D modeling. And even though it's like one of the smallest parts, it seems to have a lot of uh, definition to it. There's a lot of features that we're going to have to add to this one. So we're going to try to aim to do this in as few steps as possible. So I'm going to try to kind of get a look at what this is real quick before I just immediately start jumping into it. Um, I see that we've got, uh, it kind of looks like a rectangular block that we can cut out. And there's a bunch of, let's see here, let's, uh, you know, th this kind of looks like a block. And there's a cylinder that's kind of sticking out on this side. And then there's this circular part. This is the actual slider, like what your thumb will grab and pull it down to actually activate the specific pin for it. So we're going to try to 3D model this. And my hope is that whenever we do the sketches, that these angles for these like weird pyramid shapes uh, are going to just go ahead and work themselves out. So if, you've, uh, if you're a virtual student and you have no idea what these measurements are because you don't have a carabiner pin, here are the measurements that you're going to need. Uh, I may have left a couple of them out. And if I did, I apologize. Uh, you, you, hopefully they'll show up it later in the video, um, or they hopefully just maybe work themselves out. Um, you know, it, I, it's not perfect dimensioning guidelines, but you know what? It's good enough for government. So we're going to try to reverse engineer this and, and make a model out of it. So take a good look at that. Uh, freeze the screen if you need to, or pause the video and get those measurements out. And we're going to go ahead and get going at it. So I'm going to click the plus, and I'm going to create a new part. I'm going to call this the pin slider. So instead of saying part studio one down there, I'm just going to rename it to pin slider. You can call it whatever you want to. And we're going to go ahead and start with a rectangle. So I'm going to do the sketch and I'm going to try to make the bottom of that rectangle. So I'm going to click uh, new sketch, click on top, and I'm going to go to the top view. Uh, we're going to make our rectangle. I'm looking at the dimensions, and it says it's 0.875 by 0.235. That's at least what I measured. I'm going to write out here, um, let's see here, the top one, 0.875, enter. And then the uh, vertical one, 0.235, enter. So we'll give you a rectangle that looks about like this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish that out. And we're going to go to the isometric view. We're going to extrude. So I'm going to click extrude. I'm going to go to the top part. Now, it naturally defaults to one inch, which is really thick. Uh, what we need is we need the total thickness of the entire object. So I have uh, three uh, m measurements listed there. There's the bottom one, uh, the middle one, and then the top one. And what we need to do is we'll just add those three together. So uh, since I don't have my calculator right by me, we're just going to do some addition right here. So we're going to type in 0.050 plus, oops, that's equal, plus, um, 0.162 plus 0.068 and then I'm going to hit enter and it should look like yeah that looks a lot better this looks more like the slider block that we're dealing with click the green check mark and this is what we're going to begin to start cutting out so I'm going to look at this I'm going to look at the um, side view of it uh, because I have a couple of measurements for the rectangles that we can use to cut out um, so I'm going to go to the right side and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take two notches out on the right and the left side. So I'm going to create a sketch, and I'm going to create a sketch on the face. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to use this rectangle tool, and I'm going to make a rectangle. And I'm going to click. Starting from the top left, um, the horizontal is 0.05, and the vertical is going to be 0.162. And that looks reasonable, I think. Um, let's see here. No, no, that's not reasonable. Uh, I'm going to have to add, this is one part of the big block, so I'm going to have to add 0.05 to that. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do 0.162, 0 0.162 plus 0.05. That looks better. Okay, so that's 0.212. I'm going to make this rectangle on the other side, and I'm going to click. And we've got 0 0.05. No, hang on. 0.212, enter, uh, 0.05, enter, there we go. Those are the two slots that are going to get cut out. So I'm going to click the green check mark. We're going to go to the isometric view, zoom in so that I can actually see it. We're going to go to extrude, and I'm going to click remove. 
and then we're going to click the two rectangular regions and when I click the two rectangular regions they're gonna cut out it's a default depth of one inch we don't really you know it goes past that so no big deal just gonna click the green check mark and now we have the slide uh, part made for it and we're gonna keep going so the next thing that it looks like we need is I'm gonna worry about the front view and there's this sketch that goes along the side like this and I'm just going to try to cut it out, almost like we're making uh, a key or cutting out a key or something like that. Uh, we're going to try to make this sketch up at the top, and then we're just going to cut it out and remove it. So uh, that's what I'm going to try anyway. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to use the line tool. I'm going to do sketch, and I'm going to create a sketch on this surface. And I'm going to create the line tool, go to the top right, and then click down. We're going to go down 0 0.05. Oops, 0 0.05. Enter, and then we're going to go across, and that link that we're going to go across looks like I don't have written down on the instructions, so it looks like it might be time to get a set of calipers and go find one of those, uh, go find one of those sliders so that we can actually do this. Let's see here. I got a slider real quick. Um, all right, that length is going to be. Looks like about 0.25, about a quarter of an inch-ish. So 0 0.25 inches. We're going to go ahead and make that horizontal. So 0 0.25. Make sure that decimal is there. 0 0.25. All right. And let's see here. Um, the whole thing is 0.875 across. And then we're going to go down. And the length that we're going to go down is also not on there. So let's see, can we actually logically find out what that is? Um, yeah, we can. Look at that. If you look on the, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back to the drawing. So we just did this side, and then we're going to need to create a up and then a down. And we're going to kind of plunge down here. I didn't actually give us this length across, but what we can do is I know that this length down here is 0.68, and I know that this length up here is about 0.5. So this could be uh, 0 0.068 plus 0 0.05, and that should get us close enough to be able to, to go down there. We could also measure it with a set of calipers. Uh, I'm sure that I did whenever I made this, but I've, I just didn't write it down. So we can actually also, since I've got the drawing right here, we can just uh, get the measurement for it. It'd probably be, it's too smart. Why would you do that? How about 0.1? Seems reasonable to me. Uh, it's 0.1 down. I'm going to try to remember that. So right down here, 0.1. All right, let's go back. Is this the one? Let's see. Nope, that's not the one. Now I have to find which one is actually called. We called it pin slider. All right, let's see if we got it. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to go um, up and then across. So... Uh, that triangle looks like uh, on the isometric view looks like I gave it a, a height of 0 0.097 so I'm going to create a line and this line going up is going to be 0 0.097 and then it's going to be the same distance on the other side so I'm going to use the line tool again mm, see if I can get it and we're going to click down Remember, you can start off snapped over here, and you'll get this yellow line, and that yellow line will kind of automatically go along this. It'll automatically constrain it, which is what you want to do. Uh, this is the same length, so I'm going to type in 0 0.097. There we go. And see how they're kind of equal to each other? That's a good thing. We want that. Uh, the next thing that happens is it goes straight down a distance of 0.1. So I'm going to hit Enter for that, and it goes down. Um, looks reasonable to me, I think. And then across is going to be 0 0.085. And then it starts to go, uh, oh god, no, I didn't do that right. Uh, let's see here. Um, that's 0 0.085. Look how it kind of yeeted out over there. So 0 0.085. Much better. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go up. So it looks like the length that goes up is 0 0.184. So I'm going to use the line tool. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to click on this top part to snap it into place, so that way it's automatically constrained to that line. And I'm going to type in 
0 0.184, and it should automatically go in. It does. Uh, horizontally, there's going to be a line here that is 0.115, and all of these measurements were found by the calipers. Uh, and then it goes across, and I'm going to assume that it has the same angle that goes along with it, um, but it's not really super important where this ends. It looks like it ends at the halfway point, so I'm just going to end it right. Well, no, that's not right. It's got to. It's got to have the same angle. So let's see if I can. I wonder if 0.184 is the same thing. So I tell you what, we'll just snap it down here, and we'll just move it across like this, and that doesn't quite get us the same angle. So I'm going to kind of just go down a little bit more to where it just kind of looks the same. And I'm not going to go super crazy on the details. I'm just going to click right there. All right. Now, what we need to do is we need to cut this out. So I'm going to use the line tool to finish out making these regions up at the top. Like, I want to cut out this triangle right here. I want to make sure that that gets cut. And I want to cut out this region, and I want to cut out this region. So I'm going to finish these lines out up on the top so that whenever we extrude, we can actually cut them out. So I'm going to use the line tool again, and I'm going to cut out these three regions with our sketch. So we'll click the green check mark and cross our fingers and hope that we didn't uh, leave anything open. Uh, let's check. So I'm going to click extrude and I'm going to click remove, and then I'm going to remove this, and this, and this. There we go. So I'm going to click the green check mark. All right. And this is going to give us the first part of our shape. We are almost done. I know it doesn't kind of seem like it, but we are almost done. We have to add a couple of more features. We're going to add the, um, the cylinder uh, on the side. We're going to add the circle on the bottom. And we're going to cut these out on the top. And I think that since we are kind of, this, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to split this into two parts. So for this is for part one. Um, if you still need to help to finish it out, uh, I'll make part two here shortly. Y'all have a great day, and we'll talk later.